So for friends and family members who have people that are struggling with this kind of stuff, understand that they are not well. They're not being lazy, right? They need your support. So just listening, empathizing could start the process. You need to feel some sort of love or affection or um, just something that says, we're here for you. You might not be yourself right now, but we've got your back. I think the biggest message I have to say is don't treat somebody like they're fragile. Um, and I know that there's lots of times when I was going through the different stages of being unwell that I felt I was being treated like, like a fragile glass cup. And it was like, no, you, like, you don't have to like walk on your tippy toes around me. Like we don't have to walk on eggshells here. Like let's have different kinds of conversations. And authenticity is, is really big. Um, I would say that's really key for anybody, whether it's family, friends, workplace. Um, how can you be most authentic in the conversations that you're having? Listen, be aware. Because a lot of family are not aware. Because you look normal. And that's what a lot of family and friends and people that you know are not aware of. Because you look normal. So you're not sick. So if they listen, be aware of the person around them, in front of them. Because sometimes you do things that are different. There's some little something that you do. You either don't communicate as much as you used to communicate. Or your thought process is always more internalized than actually talking to them at that time. So it's a simple thing. It's simple, but a lot of people don't notice. Because you, uh, you offer help and sometimes it gets rejected. You offer help and it gets rejected again. Um, sometimes it can feel quite combative and maybe you don't know what to do. Be patient with the person. Be patient with yourselves. Um, if you need to get help as well or even go talk, to uh, someone in the mental health field so you can get some idea of how to navigate through this yourself, please do so. And uh, really remember to look after yourself in the process. Just encouraging them to become aware of all the things that are available. So just depending on you know where somebody works or where they live, but just to be able to provide the information so that the person has basically a menu of choices. You just have to be there for them. Um, there's not a right or wrong thing to do. Um, just support them, the calls, just say, you know, I'm praying for you, you know, um, just, just talk with them. The most important for human beings is that the human connection, but it's that, um, acceptance. Yeah. And the worst thing for us as humans is that, uh, um, is rejection.